Can a transfer on death designation avoid access issues for banks and other accounts? The answer is yes and no. But before we get there, I'd like you to imagine a friend going through a tough what if scenario that creeped into their lives. But they were prepared because you shared this video. We'd appreciate it, as will your friend. I'm Valerie Zametti, an estate planning attorney in New York and New Jersey. We're here to help educate everyone for free. So please drop your questions for us. So hopefully together we can help some folks. A transfer on death, okay, simply means that at the passing of someone, the beneficiary is designated and all the monies will eventually go to those parties that are designated. And it's only at the time of death, right? And this applies to accounts typically that don't have a beneficiary designation, such as retirement or life insurance. However, there are really two times in which your family may need to access accounts. One, first and foremost, would be at your incapacity. So if you're just not able to take care of your banking and financial matters, you need someone else to do so. The transfer on death designation has no bearing at that stage and doesn't help anybody. Uh, instead, your family would be uh, uh, would be required to use a power of attorney, which can sometimes be quite cumbersome depending on the financial institution. And it would also need to be done at every single financial institution with their own quirks and administrative processes. Um, likewise, the transfer on death requires a separate process to be done at the passing of the individual and doesn't offer any further protection to your loved beneficiaries. In my opinion, a proper estate plan does include creditor insulation for the next generations, and that's not available or afforded to you through a transfer on death or payable on death is sometimes what it's called, TOD, POD um, transfers. So yes, it would um, give access a little sooner, um, even though there's a process and paperwork at the financial institution does not require a probate process, but it fails in a couple of regards where you have to use a power of attorney at the time of incapacity, which can be difficult if you've ever had to do that before. Um, it is not always the easiest and it does not offer any additional protection to the people who are receiving it at your death. So, we hope you've learned something new here today and choose to share. And as always, please take care.